previously on my lifestyle. Clap it up for y'all still. Clap it up for y'all. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Our first place winner is... She brought up stuff that we already had behind the scenes. Last year, baby, you ain't bringing up no old TV pop. Let me just go ahead and spill that on Exactly. Why we here now? The soldiers that Beyonce, Chelly, and Michelle looking for, he wanted to stand up. He, he gotta have one. That's all he got. He can't do it himself. And he know he can't do it with me, so he always gotta find somebody. Mike, if we plan to do this for World to do this day, and something else it contradicts it like then yeah i'm like okay you did put words if you on the back we chose a lifestyle we're gonna put our foot on the gas you know what i'm saying So today, I have a performance at this fashion show. Not only do I have to perform at this fashion show, I have to walk in this fashion show. It's been countless practices. It's been, I've been at this venue for a very, very long time. Just, you know, going to all the designers and stuff like that. But I'm super excited nonetheless. I get to get back into my Molly bag and I get to like share my talents, you know, with other people who are not familiar with what I'm doing, who I am. I will not so I'm super excited for this performance. One, two, three, four. pleased with my performance or whatnot it always could be better i'm a person it always could be better or whatnot but this performance it was you know it was it was good for what it was it was good for what the event was it was good for what it was z let's have this hot talk come closer please. don't let nobody tell that you are not a star you are literally a star like from the way you just spit you're not just talking like you're not just you're not just saying shit. You're not just putting out shit. You give bars, like literally spit. People don't, when did he say it? People don't go on the booth and spit no more, but they're supposed to be rappers. You go on the booth and you spit every time. You talk your shit. And that's what I love about you. Super, super excited that someone was able to come. My wrist rock came to my show, y'all. I'm super excited to just talk and catch up or whatnot. Just pick each other's brains and see what's, what's tea, like what's going on, like what's new. I remember the last time that we talked had to be 
at the photo shoot, I believe. I don't feel like we talked. Yeah, the photo shoot was the last time we talked, guys. So it's gonna be, you know, interesting to just catch up and to see what's popping. I'm super excited and whatnot, and I'm super thankful that my girl was able to come out and support. So, what's up with Steve? What's up with yeah, Nothing. Just, um, just really, um, appreciative for you for calling me the other day and being a bigger person and reaching out to me and letting me know like, hey, you know, we good. There's no beef, there's no nothing between us two. I love the fact that you called me and you clarified it because had you not done that, it would have definitely been like a, us and us, yes, like yes. a split in the middle. And I actually, like, it was on my heart so heavy, like, I get love everybody else, but um, I was like, damn, I need to call Z to make sure, you know, you're not going to separate about the money thing I'm saying about like anybody, which I don't even feel like I speak on the whole rookie and OG situation because, you know, that's not a thing for me. I don't, you know, like, I just have my people that I talk to, you know, that I would rather be around and I have people that I, you know, no. No, and that's yeah. fine. Actually, it it, it's not a thing because I actually invite everybody when I have something. Like, I invite everybody. Everybody don't invite me, but I invite everyone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's also a part of me being a bigger person, but it's never no beef with you. It's not even no beef with nobody else. It's just, he said, she said. Right. And I hate that for them because I'm living good, eating good. Still throwing. <laughs> Come on, EJ doing good. Throwing. throwing I'm so big. You know, it's, it's not good though. You know? It's, it's, it's never going to be a thing. It's never going to be a thing. But your partner, Crown Solomon, that pissed me off because. Why they got to be my partner? Well, whoever damn partner she is. <laughs> no partner. Oh my I, gosh. I didn't like the fact that um, <clears throat> he. Okay, so I understand that you have your pick girls and you know, like, if you thought that, it just didn't make sense to me that you would say, you would go off of what Justin said. Justin was the only person that posted and said, I think the old heads are going to carry this season. Mm -hmm. No one else said anything, not me nor Dre. We didn't say nothing, but you automatically put us in the category with Justin saying you thought we were in groups with Justin, when if you would have just simply asked Justin, Justin would have said, all right, let's give us just the key. Then for you to go and say, nope, the first thing out of your fucking mouth is, oh, nobody can tell me what to, um, how to feel about a situation. Oh, nobody can tell me, no, nobody can tell me how to react to a situation. I'm Bitch, saying. you just was trying to tell me how to react to Roman saying something about me. But because I call her Willie the Whale, you're fat shaming, and I don't do fat shaming. That's a little low blow, da 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 da. Bitch, kiss my ass. The whole us against them comment, I've said it from the jump. I only have a problem with one bitch, but now two. Um, it's never gonna be a us versus y'all thing for me. That's not how it goes for me. I stunt nobody until they start stunting me. And that's just how it goes. It never started off as a, oh, we're gonna say something to y'all. We're gonna treat them like X, Y, and Z way. That's whack. That's so whack. And y'all know that. So whatever they got pulled that out of, just let them, let them keep pulling hell. Cause they reaching for thin air and ain't getting nothing. Who told you, who told you that, um, there was a, yeah, I'm gonna get in. <laughs> <laughs> who said, who told who you that? There was a conversation that happened about you um, when you left about the whole birthday situation. How did that come about? What's the deal about that? I honestly, that was. I think we all on Facebook. Me, Roman, Cupid. I mean, me, Cupid, Roman, and Simon. Y'all heard that? Exactly. The blueprint never lies. I don't ever tell a lie. It's all right in the pudding. It's just mad, bling, bling, bling. It's just mad. I just say the fact that it's <laughs> even like, uh, somebody say this, somebody say that, somebody say that, because right. who cares? Like, I just, I don't know. You care? I care when y'all try to make it seem like I'm the bad guy and I'm just, oh my they God, make it seem like I'm just, it, yeah, they just make it seem like I'm bullying her and that's not oh the case. Gosh. We all have to be realistic with yeah. that shit here. I do not bully that girl. That girl uh, say something to me and I'll, you know, like light tap her to be like, chill, go. 
No, we we cool. We good. We don't gotta talk to each other. We already made that establishment. But even then, I had already. My issue is, and, and it's not even my issue is, you tried to bring up a situation that happened like maybe like two or three years ago, like when I first when I first got my apartment. But you didn't tell your half of the story. You were telling people on live, so I heard. Because um, I don't watch your live, her lives. So, just let me so I heard you were telling people on live that I wanted to fuck you and you weren't fat. I didn't feel like you were fat when I wanted to fuck you, but girl, oh you actually God. wasn't that big when I wanted to. Oh. When we were supposed to, because it wasn't I wanted to, we were supposed to. Uh, and do I need to show you the chat? I don't know, I don't want to see the chat. Oh, because we had a whole group chat and everything. So basically, we're gonna <laughs> tell it, tell everything. I definitely would have to say that what separates me from everyone else when it comes to certain things is, is social media. Like, I feel like social media should be used to like promote your brand and to highlight the things that you're doing, not to get on social media and to watch and see what other people are posting so you can come back and have a, that's just not my type of vibe. Like, I'm too busy. I'm a college student, you know, I'm working on deals, I'm working on my brand, I'm building, you know, I'm exploring like, you know, to better me, not to watch what somebody else is doing, to come as a group and have a conversation about it. I feel like that's so tacky. Like, that's, that's not my vibe at all. I feel like it's, I feel like people are gonna say what they want. But you can't control what nobody says. The only thing you can do is control how you act, control how you go about handling the situation. And I honestly just feel like it is what it is. I don't like the social media. I don't want to be on my because my page is for. I feel like social media should be used for my brain. Yes. Not no oh for sure. This 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 and I'm about to do this. And I'm like what's the point? One thing I can't say about my girl Ra is. She's, she moves like an adult when it comes to certain things. She do have her ways sometimes, like we all do, but for the most part, she gives me like grown person energy. Like when it got to a point where things were getting too out of hand between us, she reached out to me, y'all. And that meant so much to me because people don't reach out no more. People just take stuff and keep rolling like a snowball and then build up and build up and build up or whatnot. Richard, calm down, okay? Making all that noise. But um, like I really just really enjoyed the conversation and whatnot because we got a chance to dive deeper into the conversation that we had on the phone or whatnot. Just me explaining things to her about what really was going on, you know. But I definitely have to say this, like how we had a conversation and fixed everything. I just like the girls really just need to have a conversation because at the end of the day, that's just all what it sounds like a conversation. One conversation can fix a lot. Uh, again. Love you so much. Love you so I'm glad we had this period. <laughs> yes. something like in the music world where people believe in you but they don't always show that they believe in you so for people that I care about to actually show up and show how much they believe in me how much they love what I'm doing it really means a lot to me so the news just got broke that um Justin mom has passed um, this is my condolences. I'm so sorry, Justin. Here we are again, the newbies, trying to bring 
the group together, do something nice for Justin, but at the same time kill two birds with one stone because we also want to hash out the 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 hot piss that we have going on in the group chat or whatever. So we're gonna also try to get Roman and Romain to hash this out over some drinks and a picnic. on my little wilderness outfit like I was Steve Bitch ready to go wrestle with an alligator. Little did I know I was gonna wrestle with a whale, but the outfit is over, Shakova. But we're here to, I guess, talk about stuff. Hell. And to make um, cars for Justin because Justin's mom unfortunately passed away. Um, I also want to say, you know, say my condolences to Justin. We love you. Well, I know I do. I love you. Stay strong. You are a strong individual. I don't know what I would do if I lost my mom. So I know that, you know, right now you may feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, but I want you to know that you can do it. You got it. You are really strong. You, you really, you hold a lot of things in, but you're stronger than what you portray and I'm always here if you need me I'm always gonna be your brother I'm always here and when you need that show to ride on just let me know I'll be here love you so today we were supposed to be doing vision boards but one of our cast members um, mother passed away so instead of us doing vision boards I wanted us to make like individual cards like you know and make and give it to him when we see him that is so sweet. Yeah, so we I have, love the switch up. That was yeah, you, you did we have it. snacks and stuff. Um, I brought um, crayons, color pencils, pens, anything y'all need to make the card, you know, as beautiful as possible. And I'm just really thankful that you guys came out. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you for inviting us. Yes, and I really like this vibe. I feel like it's intimate, it's chill, it's relaxed, you know. We buy the water, it's good vibes, the air is blowing, it's not too hot, it's a beautiful day. Hopefully nobody end up in the water. Oh. I'm just saying. That was right fucking one. Hey, Soul again. I have finally released the entire Solstice era. You have Solstice, Solstice After Dark, and the Deluxe, which is both projects combined along with some remixes. Um, you can find all of them on streaming platforms. All you have to do is search up Solstice by Soul, Solstice After Dark by Soul, or Solstice the Deluxe by Soul. Um, you can find them everywhere. So after finding out the news about the passing of Justin's mother, um, Zari thought that it would be a good idea to still try to bring the group together in some type of a way to, you know, still do something nice for Justin to, you know, send him a lot of love and light. The bottle of water is good vibes. The air is blowing. It's not too hot. It's a beautiful day. Hopefully nobody end up in the water. Oh. I'm just saying. Leave it to Roman. Roman is going to take it there every single time. Roman is going to take it there. Leave it to Miss Roman. She's going to take it there. Ay, ay, ay. Y'all see, I can't even just be in this motherfucker present. I said nothing. I said nothing. I just came in looking fly, looking good. And now it's else my might end up in the ocean. Girl, take a deep breath. <sighs> Blow it out. Nobody's gonna end up in the water today, okay? It's about love, peace, and tranquility, Amen. okay? Amen, amen. Yeah, try um, to remember that. We gonna, um, I'm gonna hand out <laughs> the posters. Can I get something to drink? Why do you think that? Yeah, go ahead, help yourself. How did your performance go? Yeah, how was the, uh, what was it yesterday? The talent show? Yeah, the beast got to How the was party. it? Uh, very, very, very stressful because there were a lot of things that transpired that had me on edge yesterday and I was very like, very livid. 
But yeah, it was fun last night. Very fun. That's good. I'm proud of you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Even though I'm, I was a little upset with you, but I'm still proud of you. Me? Yeah. Why? Cause, girl. Why you was upset with me? Run the team. Y'all wanna get into the car first, and then we'll get into that team. Up. Uh, I mean, however, we could do the car and the tea at the same time. Oh, car. that's what was gonna happen. We was gonna run that tea. Okay, let's run it. So I just don't want to sit here and pretend like, you know, I ain't got no issue. But yeah. I felt like when it was time for you to, you know, show your support, I just didn't feel the energy reciprocated. Even though you called me, talking about my birthday event, uh -huh. even though you called me and let me know what was going on, I still felt like it was very like last minute. And uh -huh. that's why when we was having a conversation about like what you want to do for your birthday, I was a little silent because I was just like, it's hard to support people who really don't show up for you. That's so I was in my feelings, but you said you had a family emergency, yeah. but I just felt like the family emergency just was so convenient because I text the day before, because of course production couldn't be there, but I just felt like I had let y'all know that even though like it wasn't gonna be something, you know, like that production couldn't be there. I still felt like as friends that I still wanted my, my real friends to show up and support me uh -huh. and i just didn't feel like i got that from you it was like very i want to say like calculated it gave calculation but i mean i just wanted to give you the opportunity if you felt like you owe an explanation to just uh -huh. you know just kind of let me know because i was in my feelings and i feel like as a friend it wouldn't be right for me to just sit here and pretend like i can address my issue with everybody else but not when it comes to my friends got you yeah. okay say so first and foremost i can apologize for that mm -hmm. i would not um i did have a family emergency and i did have to go home mm -hmm. i would not so that happened um as far as calculations i'm not a calculated type of person mm -hmm. know so I'm everything that i do no. but no, everything that i do I'm is good. not calculated if i say something is what i say is mm -hmm. how i mean it. it's not no oh let me think about this and let me think about that and let me mm -hmm. say that i'm not calculated all right, well, you know, I understand that and I appreciate that. I, it's just that I had got some tea, like somebody that I know had said they seen you on campus that day. So I was like, it was just a little, it was just a little weird for me. Cause I was like, you said it was a family emergency. You had to do X, Y, and Z. So I was just like, you know, and then it was like, oh, he was on, we had went, or they had saw you doing something. And I was like, so that means he was still there, but I wasn't like pressed about it, but yeah. I was upset it kind of hurt myself. We can appreciate my girl, you know, for coming to me like an adult and just having that conversation with me and we come to a common ground and move forward. Maybe let's turn it upside down. We are here, like we might as well just go ahead and lay everything out so we all could just be cultured and cool. I mean, we are like supposed to be in school, so. Let's just be wrong. Like, the group already have... been divided, so I mean, is it really a group? The group already been divided, I mean. That's why I say, is it really a group? When I put, put on my tow bar bag, that means Rame is about to go. He's about to hit it back to where he came from because this whole divided, a house divided bullshit. Girl, just sit back and take a chill pill for five minutes, baby. We just getting here. We're here for a good cause. We don't have time to play Dr. Phil, Oprah, Ellen, all the fucking people that can talk about your problems. We don't give a fuck about that. And it's always a problem with you. It's always you. You're always the first person to, I just can't. I just, this bitch be about to pop out her shirt. Furthermore, Every time she feel like something's bothering her, it's always something with Willie. It's always something. Uh, until like apologies are ready to be dissed out, the same way the insults was dissed out, then I just feel like ain't no conversation to be had, boo. Huh? Is that wrong? Is that, am I, do, do I sound crazy? So you apologize first or something? What do I'm I need? I'm not apologize for anything. What? Because and, I don't. And I don't I, you don't apologize for anything, sweetie. Then, and if you don't feel like you were wrong in no situation, because I have no problem apologizing on where I might have went wrong at, but if it's not where you might have went wrong at, 
I you, said Mike because we got two different perspectives. You got a perspective and I got a perspective. I said I'm willing to apologize for it, so. You don't feel like you are, you're the person who's dragging this Winnie the Whale shit, like, through, like, stuff, through, you know, like, like, you're elongating it. Like, that was something that I said the last season. Yes, I'm dragging it, bitch, because you still haven't apologized for it. Still, to this day, still have not received an apology. So I'm going to drag it until I get an apology because I'm human and I do have feelings. And I'm telling you, this comment hurt my feelings. You said in that moment that it wasn't meant like that. So I felt like in that, in that time, that was a perfect opportunity for you to say, I apologize, this, that, and third, but you already on you're not coming here to do no apologies or whatever the case may be, it's fine. I'm, so that means I'm gonna continue to drag the issue every time I see you. The first initial, the first initial thought wasn't even that you were big or nothing like that. It was just really the whale, like that's really and whale. Like I was saying Wilbur at first, really Wilbur. I had shit in front of everybody's name. Okay, but honestly, after like listening to y'all and hearing both sides, not to look in, but just to like, you know, just intervene just a little. Um, I feel like we should just acknowledge everyone's feelings so Rod, you feel like if, you know, if Roman did feel away, you know, as an adult, we should just honestly just apologize so we could just be over it. And if you feel some way, just go ahead and express that so we could just both apologize and just move on and be grown about it. Like, I don't feel like it should be a back and forth about who did this and who did that, who did this, who did that, because it don't matter. Because at the end of the day, both people's feelings are hurt. So at the end of the day, you need to apologize, you need to apologize so we can keep moving. That's just how I personally feel. I just feel like the argument is just too much. Like, it's just giving like, rah, 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 rah. Does this apology even mean something? Because, you know, you want him to apologize and he doesn't know why he's apologizing. Like, it's no feelings or context or whatever the case may be behind the apology. It's just like, you just want somebody to say, oh, I'm sorry. And it's just like, okay, you sorry. And if I don't know why I'm apologizing, then I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. We need to worry about self. I feel like, why are we worrying about what another party is doing? We are Cause I'm tired of being a big self. person. I wanna it's be low as hell, just like the rest of them. No, baby. No, yeah, yeah. No, We gonna be not in good. hell together. That's not good. No, I always wanna be the bigger person. I tried to. You and I, 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 I did. Great. When did you try? When we sat there and had that conversation last year when we were sitting on the couch when we, I was about to Girl, bust a blood vessel. We were forced to have that conversation. That's what like, I'm saying. I feel it's forced now. You're not. How are you, how are you being the bigger person? The bigger I was being the bigger because there. I still yeah. expressed how I feel. And I, I let too. you know how I feel. And I did too. Another thing I want to address. This whole fucking situation. Oh. And what situation you talking about? Sorry. This whole situation that you brought to Justin here is just a lot better. But. <laughs> oh, the gag about you is that. It was, that wasn't even, it wasn't even nothing to him because he already knew, like, they already knew what was up. I said that last season. That's last season. But I put it I'm all lost. on the okay, table so last season, but it did not make it, a, it did not make it to the show. What was wrong? Um, that I wanted to, I, I didn't think he was a whale when I wanted to fuck him. And I will say this, you weren't that size either. That's what I'm saying. Like, I still look good, you, so. You do, you. <laughs> High five, you look good. It don't matter. Thinking that me defending myself is me looking for a storyline is a breach because I was your storyline last year. Thinking that I'm using you for a storyline, no, I'm holding you accountable and expecting an apology. That's what I'm doing. You haven't been adult enough to apologize for it. So like I said, there's going to continue to be an issue I'm still gonna feel a way about it until there's an apology, a genuine apology. Did we not all agree on, you know, like, did we not, or have we not, were we not all in the group chat was, it's not, you know, like, a thing. Raw with it was I, like, raw. I, it was like, can I finish, please? Oh, go ahead. Raw it was like a thing raw. of, oh, you were trying to say it, and in the live as well, it was a thing of, you didn't want to do that when you, da, 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 like, if you're gonna tell it, tell it all. Like, mm. maybe, I, 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 was, I, I have, do and I have no yeah, problem, I, I have no problem talking about a threesome. My oh. whole point was, you didn't, you, you were still, you wanted to fuck me, or you wanted to fuck, that, am I not, is that not right? Did, did you, was that not the agreement? I just said that. 
Okay, so like I said, you wanted to fuck the whale when I was that size. Why I would are we be saying whale again? I'm Cause I <laughs> because the, that and that's the thing. That's the thing that we're tending to forget. I was mad about the whale situation, and I my whole point of saying that was, how are you going to try to diss me uh -huh. when you wanted to fuck? Uh -huh. Is that not? Is yeah. that not that's that was my whole point. I never made it seem like oh Ramane just said that he wanted to fuck us and this that and third. That wasn't my point. But I quit long ago. But it doesn't matter, Ramane. Yeah. You you were still missing a we point. All, Whether it was two years ago, two months ago, all, you still wanted to do it, and that was my whole point. I don't care about the threesome thing. I don't have no problem. With, I have no problem you with brought standing it up on. in the in an instance of like it was ammo and it was it wasn't ammo. Am, no, I was saying my point was again so that everybody understands. That I didn't care about the threesome. The point was, how are you going to try to make fun of somebody that you wanted to do something with? That's the whole point. You just want an apology from me. You just want an apology from me because I hurt your feelings all so bad. And you know what? I got one for you. Just for you. Just for you. Willie, we love whales. Peace, love, and hair grease. We, we can have a conversation without everybody else. Um, we can do that. I'm willing to do that so we can actually sit down and really talk about it. So I'm willing to do that. The only thing is I don't... I'm not in a space to where I want to put my hands on somebody. Because at one point, I really did feel like I can choke all you bitches out and I didn't want to get up. But I'm not at that place no more because like you said, it it just by this little conversation, I, I I see your perspective a little bit. I see how you feel when it comes to certain stuff. We can have that conversation. I, I'm willing to apologize for however I made you feel. Um I hope these cars get back to Justin. I hope y'all drunk enough champagne. Mm-mm. We ain't drunk enough champagne. I was pissed that that picnic turned out the way that it did. I honestly was hoping that it wasn't going to end in yelling. Um, I really did want them to have a good conversation, you know, and even if they didn't agree, like I said, agree to disagree, you know. Y'all spoiled my fucking crackers and my cheese. Like, about to throw y'all bitches in the motherfucking river. I don't like to think that I play the victim role. I just like to think that I'm I'm a Virgo and I wear my emotions on my sleeve a lot of the time. So you're going to know when you said something or did something to offend me. So when I speak on it, it looks as if I'm playing victim, 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 victim. And with you bitches, uh, I am the victim because I don't do nothing to you bitches. Okay, now what's on a swerve? Working in the wind is crazy. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Cuban, the big kahuna, the biggest. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, and comment on K Visuals YouTube page and tune in for the tea. Love you. Style, my lifestyle, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going to the escape room. Um, I've only ever been to an escape room once, so I didn't really like know what to expect per se, just because different locations have different things that they offer. Mm, this is so authentic. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> she left the lesson. She already knows how to read. You've been hired. I thought he was going to read it too. Like, solid reading and some things were. <clears throat> Regulation baseballs are nine inches in circumference and weigh five ounces. The baseball in this picture are counterfeit. Locate them by their horizontal slash vertical coordinate. Horizontal slash vertical. Yeah, no, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we 
jumped the gun with the baseball thing. I think we need to pay attention to the Yeah, jokes. that's what I'm thinking. Like, the, they talking about jersey, not a glove. Inspect the gadget is going to do Hey, who don't you feel this same jacket is a little hot? I was lost as a motherfucker and I ain't lying. He not helping, he just... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe six, right. two... What's the numbers? Seven. To actually see Ra and Roman in the same room to be, you know, cordial. I absolutely love how they was on their best behavior. They definitely gagged me. It kind of gave me flashbacks of how we was when we all was a part of the Carters. Just such nostalgia. I love that word. I feel like me and Rob, like we were very cordial because this was something where we had to work together and I'm real iffy about working with bitches, but this one was a good one. Oh yeah, no, cause the catcher. Question mark, am I oh. sure? So what's the name? Fucking no! Solomon, you waited this long <laughs> to be smart. I guess towards the end is when my brain decided to kick into that third gear and I started going. I was like, oh, this is this and this. Or no, put this here, do this. Oh, and add this, whatever. And we started unlocking those things back to back. Lord, I'm sorry. I'm trying to read it fast so you can get it. Okay. Up, down, up, left, right, left. Prison. So how are you figuring this oh, out? Oh, I'm sorry. Up, 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 down, up, left, right, left, up, down. Left, right, left, down? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where are y'all going to jail? I'm oh, there. I'm there. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna... <laughs> we got it. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was Okay, so this must be the last one with the name on it. We still have this. Maybe this, this is gonna unlock that. And I got along well. That's really fine. I enjoyed it. Um, oh, Roman. Um, I don't really remember her, what she did, but talk and read. But everybody played a big part in us. Well, everybody played a part in us, you know, like get to the next thing. Her ass cheated and pulled the damn um, card out the thing and got us all mixed up and wixed up. And the lady saw that. But it was fun. Because we had such a really good time at the escape room, you know, the night was still young, so it was like, why the fuck not just go out for drinks and a little bite to eat? Cheers to a great escape room with the smart bitches. Y'all are really smart. Alrighty. But of course, it wouldn't be this group if some shit didn't pop off. I never told you you have to give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about this group. That's exactly what the fuck I said. Okay, so how is it not a thing of you feeling a type of way? You feel a type of way. Just say you feel a type of way. You don't even play this guy all the time. You keep saying y'all added up. You're doing this. But I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. I know that y'all have. I did specifically. I posted you. We're out of period. Oh, well. Y'all have a group chat. Oh my god, okay, it's like I want I do it. What I want y'all to do, what I want y'all to do is compare the group chats. We barely talk about y'all. But I know for a fact, but I know for a fact, but I know for a fact that y'all talk about us. I know for a fact that y'all talk about us. I know for a fact that y'all talk about us. portrayed that way that how it was brought up was that somebody in y'all group came back and told me that y'all talk about it 